Here is a compilation of Karens doing utterly stupid things. Okay, so in our first video, we have Cowboy Kyle and his Karen of a daughter. Apparently, they are freaking out at McDonald's over, I don't know what. Excuse me. You know, I'm You better calm down. I'm going to put the clock on you. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's come down. What do you expect? So I'll never understand why people freak out at fast food restaurants or just restaurants in general. Why would you ever disrespect, yell, or scream at someone who's preparing your food? Like in my opinion that feels like one of the dumbest things you could possibly do. And even that, you're freaking out at a McDonald's over what? Maybe it was a receipt or the payment or the order you didn't get. But anyway, another thing that kind of sucks is that doesn't McDonald's usually have a bunch of kids around eating Happy Meals? So cussing out the server or the staff member at McDonald's doesn't seem like a pretty good move to do in my opinion. But anyways, this cowboy dude is pretty funny as his daughter just goes on a tirade and he tells her to pretty much get out of the way. Now, our next Karen apparently doesn't like Halloween. <laughs> What's that? Oh my God, are you serious? Go home. Bye. Karen, see you later. Bye, Karen. See you later. It's Halloween. <laughs> okay, so this one kind of makes me laugh. If it wasn't Halloween and then some random dude just jumps out of the bushes with a mask on and scares you, sure, I understand why you would get mad. But if it really is Halloween, it's the end of October and it's in the season, have some fun, lighten up, let kids just be kids. This is what's wrong with so many people in our society. It's ridiculous. So our next racist Karen apparently lost her keys and she's trying to get it back from this dude in his car. What's going on? Why do you have to go that way? Come on out here! What you call me? What you call me? Get inside! What you call me? What you call me? Get inside! What did you call me? See, that's bad business. That's bad for business. Can you, can you, go, can you go, ma'am, please? Give me my keys that have my name on them. Can you go, ma'am, please? Give me my keys right. and I will let I will back off. Can you let go, please? Give me my keys. Can you please go, ma'am? Like you being mad annoying right now. All you gotta do is wait till the cops come. I can record too, F! Give me my keys that have my name on them. Give me my keys that have my name on them. Give me my keys that have my Okay, so this video is pretty funny. I like how this Karen is just grabbing onto the windshield glass and just demanding to get her keys back. I wonder what happened or how this dude ended up getting her keys and not wanting to give it back. But either way, the reaction that she has by slamming on his windshield and screaming at him is pretty hysterical. <laughs> and also, just by her look, you can tell this is someone named Karen. Now in our next video, we have two male Karens who seem to be at a CBD or marijuana shop trying to buy something, but for whatever reason, the staff are refusing to sell them products to them. So let's see what happens. I can break it if you want. I know what destruction of property is. I can honestly just hide it somewhere you wouldn't find it. That's you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. 
Show them that. Can you come and point out the other one I want? You want to show them this? Because I'll, I'll drop it. I'll be the asshole. I'll drop it and make you clean it. Well, guess we can leave. Can I have this pen? You can't have anything here. Can I have these? If you leave with this stuff, you're going to be considered stealing. Is this considered destruction of property? I mean, we're not destroying anything. It's not destroyed. These are all coupons. It just seems elitist and rude. I mean, you were rude first, right? No, you were the rude one oh, first. Oh, well. I guess we're both rude. And we just agree to disagree. Well, let's keep this somewhere I can actually know where it's at. Uh, yeah, she won't be able to get it. Uh, that height's gonna help her get it before me, sure. You wanna print out some more of these for me? Oh, there's a trash can. Um, can you move that around so I can dump the rest of the stuff in here in the trash can? You wanna bring us out? I'd actually like to wait for the cops. Okay. Oh, cool. I guess we'll be time. waiting all day. Yeah. I know, I know. And I'm not even pro cops. But now I have to because I have some, I don't know, people who think they're righteous. Oh, I guess you lost your choice. Like, I lost the choice to actually buy something in the first place. You lost the customer. And oh, she you lost more need, of the You think yeah. we need your money? Your money you think I need you? You think I need you? Why are you still no. here then? Why am I still here? Why are you still You're here? You're a small business. Why am you I still need here? Our money. Are you. Am I what? What kind of people are you? What, what kind, kind is your mother? Because I'm the kind of person that told you to ring me up. So what you about to do? This bike, he keeps talking about me. He says he's like, oh, wow. I'm racist or whatever, but he's the one I that's wonder who that guy is. Uh, he uh, called me Wu. I would love to find out who this is. He called me Wu. DVD plus. Hey, you got some more stuff to make it rain. I need my coat. The cops are called twice. They're on okay. their way. That's fine. Are you the boss of this fair establishment here? Thank you for putting the mask on, sir. Sit down. Sit down. You want to tell your underling to actually buy me something? Sit down. Are you the boss here? Sit down. Are you the boss? I'm calling the cops. Call them. First, get out of my way so I can leave you school. No, you can't. You're going to be responsible plus you're under cameras. You think I care? What you trying to move? Right so now. I'm not well, trying to move. Gonna, are you gonna be? There is so, a six feet guideline right now. Yeah. So. So I think you ought to move out of my way so I can leave no, the store. No, Since you want to run in this store. Since you think you got some shit. Since you really think you got that life. And you really think you can stop me from running running through me right now. Hello. Hi. How are you? One four two on nine Baltimore Avenue. I have a customer uh, in the store. What's your customer's name? Let me take a picture of your face. Uh, CBD Plus USA. CBD Plus USA. Yeah, CBD. What's in CBD? What's in that double A? What's in all these cookies in your store? Right. It's Laurel, Maryland. What part of Laurel? 21042. Uh, CBD just get you hot. Two one zero one. I bet she's on. Huh? <laughs> uh, you asked me about the zip code. One four two zero nine. Baltimore Avenue. Laurel, Maryland. That doesn't sound like the voice you came in here with. I'm sorry. Three zero one. Oh, the police are here. Seven nine two. Seven, seven, six, eight. Something's coming. They're gonna have to escort us out now. Now we have another fucking traffic. Because of this. Yes, we have a police officer on the scene right now. Good, bring him in. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Gentlemen, hi, I love you. How are you? Yeah, I'm five. Okay. I have two. trying to buy something. Yeah. And she refused a service to homophobia. I think it's a violation of the affirmative action. Okay. I also think that it perhaps could be some sort of bigotry at work here. Not only that, but discrimination at its finest. So you think this is the right way to do stuff? I don't know. What do you think? Have you read my ID? What's that? Uh, I'm talking to you first. 
Do you think it's a good idea to start throwing stuff around? And we can sit down and talk about it if you like. You got all day, because I do. Okay. So what do you want to happen? I mean, I just, I, the reason I locked the door, because the moment I arrived about three minutes ago, he was, he was ready to go. So he was, she was, she was, she was being abused, and I, everything is on the camera. She was being abused by both of them. The moment so I showed, like was really the moment was, I showed up. Like empty my pocket right now. Okay. You still with me, I'm not saying, but you're not all with me. So, so, don't step outside with these guys. They're going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to them, okay? All right, we're out of here. We're not going to back. Oh, yeah, good idea. Get out of here, please. Get out of here, please. Just go outside. Are you going to bring it to me? Yeah. I'm not leaving. You got yeah. time. Yeah. Seven minutes. You don't tell me what I do. Seven minutes. With my ID. So, what's up? Okay, so these two dudes are just complete douchebags. And it looks like this video was taken during the pandemic as they're wearing their masks and the lady recording keeps telling them to put their mask up. But I would like to know what caused this encounter in the first place as it seemed like for whatever reason, this store owner had justification to refuse selling their products to them. I guess these customers were being disrespectful or they're talking shit, or I, I don't know what it was, but the way that they're acting in response to not being able to buy something is so childish. They're just grabbing a bunch of coupons and littering them and throwing them all over the store for the lady to what, pick it up? Then eventually, I think it's a store owner or maybe a manager of some sorts finally shows up at the shop and blocks the entrance as he calls 911 or the police, which I would figure or I would assume that these two individuals would try to leave the scenes right away as I don't think you'd want to hang around for the cops to show up and I don't know, arrest you for trespassing or stealing or I don't know, whatever you did. But instead, these two dudes hang out, wait till the cops come and even argue with the cops further over whatever took place. So our next Karen apparently wants a chicken sandwich at a Wendy's. And other than that, I think she also wants a chicken sandwich. And can someone please just give her a chicken sandwich? With the for Everything you got. Everything you got. So did you want a chicken sandwich? That's exactly what the hell I wanted, honey. That's it. What the hell? Oh, which one, the number seven? Oh, I don't know. It's just a chicken sandwich. Could you give me a break, please? No, it's too much. I just want a chicken sandwich. That's all well, I want. Well, give them the nine cents one. Just give me a chicken sandwich. You got a nine cents one? Just give me a chicken sandwich. You don't make it so complicated, y'all. I just want a chicken sandwich. The cheapest one you got. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's it? Oh, my goodness. I think I got enough money for that. Okay, so first thing, Wendy's has chicken sandwiches for 99 cents. I think I heard the cashier saying just give her the 99 cent one. Is that even possible? 99 cents for a chicken sandwich? That sounds like an amazing deal. Give me like five of those, bro. But anyways, there's something really odd with this lady. I don't know if she's high or if she's on drugs or she's just 
borderline crazy. The way she is talking and acting is kind of hilarious, but she does cross the line when she throws her money over the counter on the floor at the employee. So that is a little disrespectful, which does make her a Karen, but man, what a strange, strange lady. And someone get her some chicken. Safety and yours, ma'am. So apparently this entitled Karen had an epic freakout at this gas station in Scottsdale, Arizona. Now Karen apparently drove on the wrong side of the road or went or tried to cut the line because she didn't want to wait in line to pump gas for her car. And unfortunately Karen got called out, but for us she went on an epic tirade and eventually played the race card. I'm not entirely sure how that's applicable to this situation as the guy clearly states it doesn't matter what color you are, white, black, green, or whatever. It has no relation to what she did and what she got called out for. But it is kind of funny how Karen just has an epic blow out and starts screaming. I guess this Karen was just having a really bad day or maybe she was just a bit too impatient to go fill up her gas, but who knows. So our next Karen is on a bike and apparently she doesn't like pedestrians and this guy walking his dog. What the hell is your problem? You're not even apologizing! I know, oh, I don't yeah, need you're to. a pedestrian! You get to do whatever you want! You really make me laugh today. That's great. I'm really happy that you get a free comedy show. Okay, and so is everyone else. You were there illegally. Are you telling me that you had a green light? No, I'm telling you I was no. Oh, you're right. You're right. Was that yeah. illegally? You're right. This, seriously. No, I'm not doing anything wrong right now. I'm just telling you the fucking dog out of the way. There's something wrong with that. You understand? No, it's yeah. not. What's wrong with it? What's wrong you're with swearing my right to have a bike lane? What's wrong? What's right. wrong with my right to have a bike lane? Agree to disagree, all right? No, not disagree. Yes, I don't. You agree broke the you. law. Oh, I don't care what you think. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? It means nothing to me now. You've I know lost it. Means it. Nothing so to just go on with your day and I'll go online. What's going on with my day? Because I don't feel like it. You can go around the block. You can go on a different block. No, I live on this block, no, actually. You're bad. Yeah. Oh, man. You can see a dog in the dog. No, I don't hear you. Bye! 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 Okay, so I had a good laugh with this one. I wish we sort of saw the interaction before the video started with Karen and this guy. I'm assuming she was driving or riding her bike on the road or in the bike lane. And then maybe this guy tried to cross the street with his dog. And maybe he walked through the bike lane and Karen got really pissed. But either way, the pedestrian usually has the right of way, especially if you're on a vehicle on a bike or driving a car even if let's say let's say the pedestrian does something illegal like jaywalk across the street that doesn't mean you have the right to run them over or hit them you still have to yield to the pedestrian and even more so we have a guy with his dog so he has an animal he's going for a walk just leave him alone but for whatever reason this karen can't 
let it go. And she's actually making a complete fool of herself in this video in the middle of the street. And what was really awesome is when this dude finally booked it out of there that everyone had a really good laugh at Cyclist Karen. <laughs> oh, what a great clip.